If you ever wondered the tactics to getting Unreal, here is an explanation of the winning game that took me to the highest rank in Fortnite. So my first thinking or strategy was to find a landing spot that wasn't too packed, where I can probably get a lot of good loot and no one was going to land it. During this game, I was literally 1% away from reaching Unreal, so I was making sure I was getting that rank, okay? I hope you guys enjoy the game and the explanation that I'm about to give. So I chose this spot because this spot is absolutely legendary. No one usually lands here, and if someone does land here, it's usually one person. Another good thing, if a vehicle doesn't spawn on the right there, uh, as you just saw, very highly likely a vehicle going to spawn here on the landing spot. So here we landed, we looted up. Nice. The next thing I tried doing after looting up and getting my beginning game ready is going to this location where there's usually an NPC. This NPC is really good. If you want to pressure your opponents, this is the NPC you want to get. NPCs, I'm not a big fan of them, but someone absolutely destroyed me with this NPC. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to get this NPC this game, but I already noticed someone landed there and already took the NPC, so I decided to go. There was a lot of people that landed around my area, so I was like, let me try find a nice calm place that I can actually loot up and get better loot, you know? A big, big tip for rank everyone, use vehicles. Just use vehicles. <laughs> they are so broken. The reason is, they not only act as cover, but they're also very good for mobility. They will just take you to where you want. So I highly recommend using vehicles and it can also confuse your opponent. Learn how to exit quickly and enter a vehicle quickly. A good strategy that I like to use is to quickly exit out the vehicle, try and get a snipe and enter back into the vehicle. So you minimize getting shot as much as you can. Like I think I do it here, for example. Yeah, yeah. so I, I get out of the vehicle. I try and get a quick snipe on this guy. And let's say I don't succeed. I can just get back in the vehicle and continue on with my game while minimizing the risk of getting shot. Speaking of snipers, use snipers use them they are broken i don't know why but they are so strong it's very easy to hit your shots like i used to be so bad at sniping but ever since this season with a bit of practice i hit my shots you guys probably see my streams your boy hits the, your shots you know <laughs> but yeah everyone seriously though use snipers they're very very broken also I, I did make a video on the double sniper strategy so be sure to give that a watch if you've not already done so where it's it's a broken strategy and it's very very useful in both competitive and fun gameplay. While I was driving around, someone actually got in my vehicle and I wasn't gonna risk taking that fight. I wasn't gonna risk getting out of the vehicle and start shooting them up because I was in the middle of nowhere. There was a lot of players around me. If I started doing that, then I would have been popped in my head. Third parties, please everyone be careful with third partying. You will get third parties. I'm telling you, if you find it open, you're gonna get third partied. Just make sure you have either a vehicle or some sort of mobility item always with you, okay? You want to be able to escape any situation at any moment. If not, then you're, you're out. Someone's just going to third party you when you're low or out of ammo, etc. And yeah. So there was uh, this part was really weird. There was a lot of fights going on. This guy was trying to shoot at me. I don't know how that was on a headshot. And this guy got back in the car. I'm like, get out of my car, bro. <laughs> so we got a uh, quick kill on that guy. That was our first kill of the game. And now I'm in the middle of nowhere. Look, third party, boom. I get sniped. So my first instinct was to find some cover. We found this house, luckily, and it was amazing cover. There was no one nearby. No one decided to chase after me. It was great. We could heal heal up and continue with our end game. Eventually, I had to move out of the house because of the storm, obviously. And I had to use as many, as much as I could as cover, natural uh, obstacles and stuff. I, so you, as you saw there, I used someone's portal bunker as cover. I'm using all these trees as cover. You want to find cover because if you get shot in the middle of the open, you're in trouble. Um, if you have a mobility item, it's not that deep, but still, you always want to try find cover to minimize getting shot as much as you can. You just want to make sure you minimize the amount of damage and risk you can. In, especially when it comes to zero board because people will take advantage of it. So as the storm was coming in, I was just one by one taking turns to find cover. I found this rock, but it still wasn't in the circle. I, I unfortunately missed a snipe there. I hit my shots. But luckily, this is another thing. For some reason, in Endgame, people just don't shoot you as much because they're so busy on other players and finding cover. Play aggressive, okay? you got to play aggressive during Endgame. And trust me, it's not that hard. I don't know why, but it's because people are so panicky and just trying to find cover that they can't focus as much on you. So Endgame, not only does it increase your rank the highest going for the kills, but also people are less likely to actually kill you if you play aggressive towards the end. So I highly recommend top 10, go for kills, go for kills. The reason why I was going for cover here is because I was playing absolutely safe. I, I was making sure I was getting that 1% 
of eyes are able to play the aggressive. But the most important thing is you want positioning and you want to play aggressive. That's the two things, especially for endgame. So over here, I saw two guys fighting. Uh, there was one in front of me that he was, I think someone pushed his portal bunker and there was two people trying to fight each other. Here. Uh, we went we went for a snipe over here on this guy that was trying to shoot the person that was running away from him. Unfortunately, you missed, as you saw. Don't watch the aim. <laughs> Don't watch the aim. I was very panicky this game because I was so excited. This could actually be the game that i got unreal that that was all that was going through my head i was like oh my god finally are we gonna reach unreal after all this grinding so luckily this portal bunker which that guy set down for us even though we didn't get a kill he gave us great cover and to be honest i'm glad he did because you will see why uh very soon <laughs> sometimes going for the cover is better than going for the kill you know especially for later game yeah we found this rock this rock was beautiful man this, I, this rock was so amazing it covered my left which i didn't have to worry about because the storm was going to be right there and I could see and peek the guy in front of me from my right. So this rock was absolutely great. We have four people remaining and the storm is about to move again. This guy was trying to peek his head. I don't know why. I nearly got the sniper. But every time I aimed, he, he stopped. I don't know if he saw me or not. The storm is now moving. We're in the top four. And let's see what happens next. Oh, three people now. One of them was lost in the storm. Be careful of the storm, by the way. Just make sure you get that position early. Uh, and portal bunkers are very good. Try to carry portal bunkers, not early game, but end game. If you kill someone and they were carrying portal bunkers, pick it up. I'm telling you, it gives you great cover. So this guy went for circle. Oh, if he put down that portal bunker one second later, I, I would have hit that snipe, probably. <laughs> so there was one on my left and one in front of me. So my plan was wait until the person on my left goes before me. They're going to fight. And then whilst they're fighting and they're distracted, I go up, as you can see. Boom. Let them fight. Let them get weak and it's a 1v1 i go in for that final kill and boom two wins in a row we got for this unreal rank just take a look at this everyone take a look at this as you can see fetching results we smashed that one percent that we needed and we made it to the top we made it to the highest rank in the game let's go man this this grind took so so long but we finally did it and oh my god Boy, did it feel good. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more content like this.